We have a triangle ABC and it's given here that the ratio of B plus C to 11 equals C plus A to 12 and that's also equals to the ratio A plus B to 13. Then we need to find out the value cosine of A, the ratio cosine of A to that of B, cosine of B and cosine of C. Let us begin. So first we'll start with whatever is provided to us. So here we are given that B plus C over 11 so that's equals to C plus A over 12 equals to A plus B over 13. So since these three ratios are equal, so we can set them equal to a common constant lambda. So this is an assumption. In that sense, we can write B plus C will be equals to 11 lambda. Then C plus A will be equals to 12 lambda and a plus B will be equals to 13 lambda. Now using standard algebraic techniques, we can find out the value of A, B and C. So our A value comes out to be 7 lambda. Then B comes out to be 6 lambda and C value comes out to be 5 lambda. Right. Now that we have the value of A, B and C, we can easily find out the value of cosine A, cosine B and cosine C. For that, we'll be using the law of cosine. So let's first state the law of cosine. So if we have a triangle ABC, whose sides opposite to the angle A, B and C are represented by the letter A, B and C in lowercase respectively, then cosine of A, cosine of B and cosine of C can be given by its respective side as given here. So let's use the value of cosine A. So cosine A, when we substitute the value of A, B and C, the respective value 7 lambda, 6 lambda and 5 lambda, then cosine A comes out to be 1 over 5. Then we have cosine of B. So cosine of B comes out to be equals to 19 over 35. And then cosine of C, so that comes out to be equals to 5 over 7. And now that we have the value of cosine A, cosine B and cosine C, then we can say that cosine of A, the ratio of cosine A to that of cosine B and to that of cosine C, so this will be equals to 1 over 5 to that of 19 over 35 to that of 5 over 7. Now since it's a ratio, we can simplify this ratio to an integer value and this is going to give us 7 as to 19 as to 25. So this is going to be the value of the ratio of cosine A, cosine B, cosine C. So we are finally getting the answer is 7 as to 19 as to 25.